Hi folks, Chief Meteorologist James Zahara here. Start off with some widespread rain in many of our hometowns. Now we're dealing with some drizzle and now also we're beginning to see some activity begin to bubble up off to our west. And combine that with those Friday night football games that will be going on this evening. This is a great tool to have, that Storm Track 8 weather app. Of course, you can monitor these showers, a few thunderstorms, more importantly, the lightning. We don't want the lightning uh, because we do see that going this early evening. We may have to delay some of those uh, high school football games that may be going on. And right now, we're kind of focusing areas more west and south of the Quad Cities uh, for maybe a couple of those storms to be a little bit on the active side, already popping up in areas off to our south and west. Stronger line to the farther west as you go where we could be seeing some brief spin-ups of maybe a tornado or two. There is a possibility. But as we get to about the early evening hours, let's say around 8 p.m., we kind of lose all that uh, instability in the air and thus leave it behind, uh, mainly some showers. And that will continue on, especially in areas along the I-80 corridor and northward uh, after 10 o'clock and really throughout the rest of the night as well. We'll be on eventually in the backside of the system heading in towards Saturday morning, keeping that chance of a few showers in the forecast, and then we'll slowly dry out for the afternoon. But also behind the passage of this system, some brisk winds coming out of the north, maybe clocked over 30 miles an hour, and no question that is going to be putting a chill for the start of our weekend. Daytime highs are expected around the mid to upper 50s with factor in the wind. You need a warmer jacket. I think it's going to feel more like in the 40s uh, with all that uh, wind that is in place. Here's our eight day tracker. Unfortunately, we do dry out nicely later Saturday going to Sunday. Sunday being your, really your weekend's best, but on the cool side, winds won't be too bad. And then we'll see a nice little climb in temperatures as we head into the new week before we see a small chance for maybe a shower as we get to about Tuesday of next week. For more weather information, go to our website. That is WQAD.com.